Hey there, Nedi here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ogi, also known as Nedi, and I'm currently a concept art student at Sin Studio Montreal. After starting art school, I thought, why not make a series highlighting all the art I create each term while discussing the techniques and concepts I learned along the way. All the art featured in this video was made during my first term of art school from September to December 2022, and I'm hoping this series will help keep track of my progress throughout the program, creating an archive to look back on and see how far I've come by the end. For first term, we had four classes, Sketching for Production, Anatomy Study, Intro to Concept Art, and Visual Reference Library. I'll be sharing most of the art I made in each class, but I'll only focus on the art I feel I can expand on or share some thoughts and what I learned while creating them. To be honest, at the time I'm recording this, I'm actually done with my second term of art school, so I'm clearly already behind on the series. But I do hope to get the next video out as soon as I can. So if you don't want to miss out future videos from this series, consider subscribing and leaving a like to show some support. In Sketching for Production, we focused on the main principles of perspective. The aim was learning how to integrate these principles into our drawing style so they become second nature. The first part of the term covered the technical theory behind the principles, but as we progressed, we were encouraged to let loose and draw instinctively while still following the laws of linear perspective and staying accurate. Here's some of the homework that I submitted during the class that I can share my thoughts on. We were asked to deconstruct any household item we owned and turn it into something new as well as showing the cross sections. I decided to turn my table lamp into a little cafe and although the idea was cute, the final turned out not so cute. Aside the obvious perspective errors, the final felt flat and unbelievable. This homework made me realize that I never considered space and depth in mind when drawing objects as seen in my earlier work. Something very obvious that I somehow never paid much attention to before then. For this assignment, we had two weeks to design a symmetrical mobile prop or vehicle using the mirroring construction technique. At the time, I was really into looking at beautiful vintage designs on Pinterest, so I decided to create a puppet cart inspired by the aesthetic. My first attempt, like my previous works, felt flat and unbelievable, so I decided to redo the entire thing for the next week and made sure to pay more attention to the little details, plane changes, subtle curves to convey its being in space and more three-dimensional. I also had so much fun with this homework as I got to work with a color palette that's my style and truly up my alley. In week 7, we were given an image of a 3D object and required to produce a prop that conveyed the theme of treasure or wealth. I decided to push myself a bit further and added a scene around it, turning it into a simple illustration. I wanted to practice other theories I had learned as well as a bit of storytelling and I think I did a decent job. Feel free to tell me what you think. At the end of it all, I won't say I have a perfect understanding on perspective. In fact, it's far from that. I've seen my weaknesses and it's going to take time and practice before everything I've learned becomes second nature. Having a good grasp on anatomy is essential for designing characters. In this class, we studied how to draw and construct a convincing human figure with believable anatomy and proportions. We focused on understanding the skeletal and muscular system and how they relate to the visible surface of the body. I struggled a bit in this class. We had to draw all our figures on a large 18 by 24 sketchbook and this made me struggle in the beginning because I wasn't used to drawing on such a large scale. I kept messing up my proportions and I also wasn't used to the more rigid way of constructing the figure. Usually, I'm more expressive and loose, so this was definitely a bit of a challenge. But it wasn't until week 4 that I slowly started getting the hang of it. Don't get me wrong, the final is still pretty weak in comparison to what it should actually look like, but I was definitely starting to see some improvements. For this one, I even tried my luck at rendering with graphite, something that I am not particularly comfortable with. But to my surprise, I noticed I started understanding how to group my values much better. And it was such an amazing experience drawing from live models for the first time. The goal of Intro to Concept Art is pretty straightforward. We were given projects that introduced us to character and environment design, setting a tone for the rest of the design classes. The main point was to prepare us for future projects during the rest of the program. For this artwork, we were asked to create an environmental piece. The concept was a sci-fi building that had been taken over by rogue pirates. I really struggled yet again to come up with concepts for this one, as I'm not very familiar with sci-fi in general, and I couldn't understand how to incorporate the pirate elements without making it look like Treasure Planet or something steampunk. In the end, I still don't think I hit the mark, but it was definitely a learning experience. 
The next project was a group assignment where we had to redesign characters from the game Chrono Trigger and create a keyframe featuring said character. I ended up with Rubo and was getting tired of drawing hard surface at this point so I decided to switch things up and paint a forest scene for my keyframe instead. Redesigning Robo was actually a really fun and fresh challenge since I've never drawn robots or hard surface characters before. However, I struggled a lot with rendering the final artwork so my thoughts on this project are a bit mixed. Nonetheless, I'm extremely grateful for my classmates and all their support and motivation throughout the project. I honestly needed it. The last class was more of a workshop and probably my favourite one of the term. We were assigned to design a concept of one from four characters in the game Gotham Knight. The aim was to keep the characters recognisable and on brand while incorporating our own creative spin. For my concept, I thought of an anti-Nightwing because why not? Although we did come up with concepts, the actual goal of the class is heavily focused on the pre-design phase and our thought process in gathering and curating the best references to bring our ideas to life. For the most part, we spent time finding photos and creating a reference board that displayed our visual direction, pose reference and design inspiration. Due to this, I didn't have the chance to polish my concept into a final character illustration since rendering wasn't the point of this class. So far, art school has been an amazing experience. It's encouraging me to push myself beyond my comfort zone and helping me clearly see the flaws that I need to improve in my work. This is not only thanks to my awesome teachers, but as well as my amazing classmates who are encouraging and an extreme source of inspiration. For that reason, I've decided to share a few of my favorite artworks for my classmates simply because I think they deserve the recognition. I'll have their profiles linked below, so please consider checking them out. On that note, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below i'm looking forward to sharing more content with you but until then i'll see you in the next one bye